Hey guys, what's up? It's Jax, the legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a super easy and super simple raid farm that does not use many materials at all. Now, if you don't know what a raid farm is useful or what a raid farm is, it is a farm that uses the pillager raiding mechanic to farm things like Totem of Undying, the Hero of the Village effect, as well as loads of other things like emeralds, and you can even get saddles from it. Here is the raid farm design. We simply have the village at the top, which is really just a villager, a bed, and a composter in a glass pod like this. And then below here, we have a 9x9 square with water on the four corners. This water will push pillagers once they walk into this area, into this hole, where they'll fall and get damaged enough, just enough to be one hit with a wooden sword. And you might be wondering, why do we have this lava here? That is because Ravengers won't be able to fall down this one block hole, so this lava here is going to kill them. Now the reason why we can't just have these Ravengers roaming around is that it won't go onto the next raid wave. So we won't get any more pillagers, so we have to make sure all of the mobs die. Now all of the ra raiding mobs, so the pillagers, the witches, all of them, the Ravengers as well, will all be attracted to this village. Even if they take a bit longer, they will eventually walk and make their way over to this area here. Now before I list the materials, we just need to discuss where the best spot is to build this. You ideally don't want to actually build this in a forest, because otherwise the um, pillagers will have a hard time to actually get to this villager center area. So a flat area is best. Somewhere over there would be another great spot to put it, or somewhere like this. Now if you do notice that um, you're, say, a witch or a pillager hasn't made their way over, just wait a little bit longer because they will eventually walk over and fall down the hole for you to kill. Now, to start off this raid farm, you need the bad omen effect, which you get by killing a villager captain. I will go on to that a bit later in the tutorial, but for now, I'm just going to give it to myself with a simple command. Here we have the raid started. And then once this is started, you're going to make your way down to your killing chamber. Now that I'm safely in my killing chamber, I can just wait here for the pillagers and other mobs to fall down for me to hit. Now I've gone through one raid before this and you can see I got loads of stuff. So let's just give, give it a second. Now you want to make sure you kill these uh, mobs as they fall down. Not let, Don't let them stack up because otherwise the witches will regenerate them. Now the best game mode to do, I mean difficulty to do this is, is in hard because it spawns the most, but you can do it in easy. Um, you just won't get as many. You can see here, the pillagers are now in the hole. They're just waiting to be pushed in. Now it looks like they're stuck, but they will be pushed in eventually. And we're waiting on a few more coming along. You can see. Okay, this one's about to be pushed in. This is very exciting. So let's go back down and wait for him to fall down. Oh, and here they are. So let's, we can whack these guys. And you can see they die and their drops will go straight into this chest here. Now, of course, your drops will be better if you have a looting sword. Um, I'm just using a wooden sweeping edge sword here so, to show you that you can do it with a bare minimum. We have one more raider remaining and then we'll go on to the next wave. But that is how the farm works. Um, we aren't going to go through all the uh, wave ra raid waves because that is going to that would take a little bit of time. Um, so here are the materials you'll need to build this. Make sure to grab all of them and then we can get building. We're going to start by building a 12, an 11 by 11 area with stairs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right along. So the inside should be 9 by 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Perfect. Now we can place water in the four corners like this. If you've done it all correctly, oop, not like that. Um, let me just pop that water up. <laughs> now, if we've done it all correctly, it should flow into the middle like so. And we don't want to dig down there yet. We actually want to come, let's grab out some glass and come seven blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And build a three by three platform like so. Now, in this platform, we want to grab out a bed any color, doesn't matter, as well as some sort of work block. I'm going to be using a composter. Then put walls around this and a roof on top. We don't have to light this up because we are building it out of glass, so mobs cannot spawn in here and kill the villager. 
Now to get our villager up here, you can use a minecart. That is probably the easiest way. Just to quickly refresh you on how to do that. You want to get your villager into a minecart, then create a staircase like this going right up. New village could be from a villager breeder as well. Then using powered rails, minecart and some levers. Place your powered rails like so. Right up. Ooh. Got all of this correctly, like so. Just uh, down. Then we want to get some regular rails to make this turn. Then coming right back up like this. Now you want to turn these powered rails on. Get your villager into your minecart. I'm just going to be spawning it in because I haven't got a villager nearby. Okay, I got the villager into the minecart. The cow is pushing it for some reason. I'm going to push this minecart back onto the tracks. Then push him up here. You'll see he'll be thrown straight into here. Now, if he hasn't got a job, he'll take the work block there. Then we can break these rails and get rid of our entire system here. Now, before you break the minecart, you want to actually push this villager down here. So, place a block on top of the composter like this, and then break the minecart. Now, we can place a roof on. You might have to push the villager out of the way just a little bit to place it over the bed. This, push him out of the way. Then we can place a full roof on. Like so. Now that we've got this, we want to come down to the center here, grab out some scaffolding, some hoppers, chest, and, um, or two chests actually, as well as some torches of some sort. We want to dig 27 blocks down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This. Then we want to dig out our little area for where we're going to be killing these villagers. We also want a slab as well. And we want to place a chest here like so. A hopper, which should be directly in line with this drop here. Cut copper slab or any sort of slab, some torches. And then we want to build ourselves a way to get up. So we want to dig to the side a bit so we don't pop up in the water. I've dug out one, two, three, four, five. Then using the scaffolding, we're going to dig up like this. So this is going to be our little safety area. So what I suggest you do is actually mark this with some sort of light source or some sort of block that sort of stands out in the ground. So I'm going to use some warped planks like this. When you activate the raid, you're going to want to quickly run down here so the pillagers don't get to you. Now we've got this. This was great for the pillagers, but we still have the issue of the ravengers. So to fix this, we got to grab out some warped or crimson fence gates. Either work as long as it's some sort of nether wood, so warped or crimson, and a bucket of lava, as well as some scaffolding blocks. So that just... We're going to come two blocks up like this. Place, oh wait, one block up like this. One block. Place a warped fence gate and open it. Then, around it, we're going to place blocks like so. Place the fence gates on each side, like this, then open each one of those, then break these blocks. Now while holding shift, we can do this on the ground like this. We want to place lava in the middle of them, like so. So this is what it should looks like, look like. So if you walk on, you, you should be able to walk under it safely like that. If you fill in this hole, you should be able to easily walk under it safely. But if you jump, you will get your head in lava, which is exactly what we want because the Ravengers are more than two blocks high. Therefore, they won't actually be able to walk under here safely, but the Pillagers will. Now, we've got our farm here. We just need to activate it. So to do that, we need to find a Pillager outpost. Now, this is what a Pillager outpost looks like, and we're not looking for any regular sort of Pillager at these outposts. We're looking for a Captain. Now, Pillager Captains also come in the groups, but the groups are more random, and you... um. They're sometimes a bit trickier to find, so an outpost is normally your best bet. As well as that, you can keep on traveling back to this outpost and killing more pillagers. So, the captain we're looking for is going to have a banner on top of his head. Okay, there's a captain right there. So you can see he's got the pillager captain banner on top of his head. We want to run up to him and kill him, like this. Then you see we'll get the bad omen effect here. As well as that, we also get an ominous banner, which is pretty cool. You can decorate your farm with this. Now, this bad omen effect is only at level 1. If 
the more pillager captains you kill, the higher the level will get and the better the raids will be for your farm. But you can start it off with just the basic level here, so let's go and do that. I'm now going to be heading back to my farm and I've changed my game mode into survival so you can see it is completely possible and doable to survive this. I've got no armor on at all and I've just got my sword with sweeping edge. I do have a netherite sword, you do not require this, but you can see as soon as I get within the range of this village, the raid bar starts to go up and but I still have plenty of time to go down here and get ready to kill some of these mobs. Now remember, it sometimes does take a little bit of time for the pillagers to walk over and fall into this hole, so be patient, they will come down, don't go poking your head up, otherwise you will die. And of course, don't hug this block right here, because otherwise the pillagers have a chance of shooting you, so stand just a few blocks away like this. Now of course, in this first wave, we're not going to get the best drops, because we don't have the highest level of... Um, sort of pillagers to go against but as we go further on we will get more items like totems which is the main my main reason for a uh, pillager farm but you guys might like it because of the hero of the village effect because that is pretty cool getting all those little gifts and the flowers from the villagers so now you guys know how to build an awesome working raid farm that is super simple to build and doesn't take too many resources so that's going to be the end of this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment and remember to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated!